Boom. What's going on, friends? Guess what? It is that time. Oh, wait. I forgot to do that. Yay! I forgot to turn on all my lights and stuff. Oh, well. Stuff happens. This is a dim, dark and dim kind of... Uh, you know what? Hold on. I can't do it. I can't do it. Boom. Boom. At least give me those lights. Here. Ready? Boom. Ah. Okay. Woohoo. We're good. I got lights now. I feel a little bit better. Just a little better. I was doing some I was doing some recording yesterday, so I uh had things all discombobulated. But I am excited. It's been a minute since I did a live build for you guys. Um, you guys know I'm a glutton for punishment. So woohoo, here we go. We're gonna make fun of stand time. We're gonna have a good old time. Let me turn off the fat man fan. Let me get a drink. And <clears throat> we are going to be talking about this guy right here. Ready? Focus. Focus. There we go. The Rebirth RTA. Yep, I have Rebirth RTA to show you guys, to go over. I know you guys have probably seen it, but I told Mike I was going to do a video about it because I told him I was going to do a video about it, so I'm going to do a video about it. So, sit back, relax, grab your vape. Let's take a look at the Rebirth RTA. My name's Stan, and you have found the Tenacious TX Vapes channel. Where's the where's the mouse? Where's the oh Boom. So, what we're going to do first and foremost is is we are going to take a look at the website all right, I'm going to show you guys not where to purchase it, but I'm going to show you guys what they show on the website of how things like colors it comes in and everything, um, the specs, and then I'm going to jump down. I'm going to actually show you guys close up and put a build in it, and we're going to make this quick because I know Grim Green's coming on a little bit, and all you guys want to jump over there and check out his vlog action. So here we go. Here we go. Bam. Here it is. The Hell Vape Rebirth RTA comes in all these fancy colors. You've got the all black. You've got the, oh, these are the bubble glasses too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that. you got the gold. you got the rainbow. You've got the purple. You've got the blue, which is dope looking. And I think that's the one I'm going to show you guys today. You've got the gun metal, the stainless, and then you have the, bam, the black with the cutout logo here. So here's a little sneak peek of the deck and some other things. I'm gonna show you guys all that close up. Features, it is a 25 millimeter diameter, two post build deck with gold plated positive posts, 14 by one millimeter and two by one and a half millimeter honeycomb airflow holes on each side. Quarter turn top fill, two milliliter with straight glass and five milliliter with bubble glass. That's actually really cool right there, five milliliters. Seven and a half millimeter coil cutting tool, 810 Cobra, Cobra drip tip, and 810 frosted drip tip included. Kit contents, uh, rebirth sticker, coil cutting tool, user manual, accessory bag, 510 adapter, spare glass, spare 810 drip tip, and 25 millimeter rebirth RTA. So, that's everything. Here's your, your scratch and check authenticity. So when you get one, you can put in the code here and make sure that it is authentic. Let us take a look. Let me, let me, check, let me check the chat real quick. I don't want to ignore the chat. Sometimes I ignore the chat whenever I do these live reviews because it's hard for me to look here and look here and look here. So <laughs> Justin Engel said, how often do you do recordings in the studio with the lights off? Ha! Boom, roasted. Well, the lights weren't off when I was recording. That's why there's a light back here that I faced against the wall. And you knock it off. Um, here it is. The blue Mike Vapes Rebirth Hell Vape RTA. Let's dive down. Let's take a look at it. Bam! All right, so... 
On the box, you've got the Hell Vape logo. Why are you not focusing? Focus, Daniel Sun. You've got the Hell Vape logo, 2 milliliter and 5 milliliter. I just went over a lot of this, so I'm not. F- f- focus! I'm going to have to turn off this autofocus. Damn it, Beavis. Damn it, Beavis. Autofocus. There we go. All right, you've got the logo here. Mike Vapes here. On the side, you've got your scratch and check authenticity, some more logos, social media. Mike Vapes. Mike Vapes. Mike Vapes. On the back, you've got all the stuff basically we just read, so you guys can just go back in the video and check that out. I'm not going to do any freeze frame or anything. It tells you post list raised styles build deck. Why is the focus so bad right now? Postless raised style build deck, honeycomb bottom airflow, coil cutting tool. Let's open her up. Bam. Look, that's pretty nice packaging. You know, it's just a sleeve. This little unit I'm showing you guys will be available to my patrons after the review. I will not be vaping on this one today. You have the blue. Look how fancy and shiny and clean. Let me see if I turn this light down a little bit here. Maybe it'll cut some of the glare. Got the fancy blue Rebirth RTA. It's so nice and clean. Look how big the bore is. Holy crap. On the bottom, it says Mike Vapes Rebirth RTA. Let me see here. Bam. It says Hell Vape. It's got the little Don't Vape in a Bin, Vaping with Vic, Rebirth RTA. And then you have a gold plated. Let me show you guys this up close, just so you can see how good the pin is. Bam. Focus, 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 focus. So it has a nice protruding pin and the insulator protrudes as well. So I would definitely be okay using this on a hybrid. If you remove that insulator, that thing's sticking out a pretty good ways. So I'm, not if you remove it, but if you pretend like it's not there, you can see it's sticking out pretty far. All right, let's 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 move on. All right, so inside the box here, focus off. Inside the box here, we have a box of spares or peripherals, as some might say. <laughs> I always thought that was a funny word. Let's open it up. Let's take a look. And... You guys know I don't do lots of reviews. I basically just want to show it off, show you guys what's up, tell you guys if I like it or not. That's how I do these things. I'm not going to get crazy into it, show you what the specs are on the um, on the website. Oh, get out. Get out. There's stuff in there. Okay. You have a 510 drip tip adapter, spare screws, a spare frosted drip tip, O-rings out the wazoo. There is all kinds of O-rings in here. Skinny O-rings, fat O-rings. Looks like a gasket for the tank. A couple of gaskets for the tank. You have your bubble glass. Take a look at it. Might as well take a look at it. See that? See that? Ooh, yeah, it's bubble glass. It's pretty. It's five milliliters. Move that out of the way. And then here, you have something that I am going to use today because I want to show you guys how this works. The little awesome little coil cutting tool. I'm not going to call it a coily because it's not a coily. Coily is an actual product. A coily tool is this. And Mike Vapes actually asked the gentleman who designed and built these to use a design like this in his products. And he got approval, which is really cool of Mike Vapes. This is the original coily tool. You guys can check that out. Just Google coily coil cutting tool. It's out of the UK. So... Let's go ahead. I think there's a sticker. There's a sticker. What else is in the box? A manual. Let's see the manual. Oh my goodness. It's freaking it's a freaking map. I'm never going to be able to fold this back. Pictures, black and white pictures, how to fill, different languages, all the same stuff. How do you That was actually easy. There we go. Sticker, my daughter's going to want to put that on my trash can. She's a strange one, she is. All right, so 
let's take this. This is my DNA 75 18650 build station built by Warlocks Mods, uh, the Gathering Vapor Lounge. This is the Skeleton Key, as he calls it. I'm not going to use this one. I am going to use my stainless steel one. But I'll show you guys the deck. Whoops. I totally didn't even show you guys the deck or the top fill or anything, did I? So here's the deck. You can see the honeycomb. So what happens is the airflow comes in through here and then perpendicular from the direction of the airflow is where the honeycomb air comes up underneath the deck. I wish I could show you guys inside there, but I can't. Um, you have single screw here and a single screw here. Why is my focus so bad? And oh crap. Bada bing. Okay. Zoom. Here we go. So you have single screw flathead here and single screw flathead here. Your positive post is brass and it has an insulator all the way around it, which is very, very cool. Okay. You have big old airflow that has a lock full open, full close. Very cool. And then you have your really honking, big honking wicking channels right here. So there you go. That's the deck we're going to be building on inside your top cap. It's pretty dang clean. Is that a nick right here? If you ever want to get glass off, a pretty easy way is to just pinch gently the inside of the bell all the way around the glass until it comes off. So it does look pretty clean. It's real clean, actually. Here's what's cool about this top fill. Quarter turn. What? Let's see that again. Ready? Quarter turn. Pretty awesome quarter turn airflow with huge fill ports. Now, I will show you guys on this one that I have. I just vaped it. Here it is. This one that I have, the, the cap is pretty loose. Even when it's all the way over and it's supposed to be under tension, it's pretty loose. Now, I haven't knocked it off by accident or anything, but it's just something to look out for. I will check it on my stainless one. I don't think it's quite the same, but this one has kind of a loose cap. But it's the prettiest one. It's the one I like to use the most. So let me put this glass back on just like that. It also helps when you're installing glass to kind of give it a twist as you put it on. That way you're not just forcing it down on there. Nice and smooth, smooth threads. Let me double check the 510, make sure it's tight. Yep, it's perfect. Let's put all this back away. I am going to be taking this build out, which is a massive build. Um... Why is my why is my my thing not working? A massive point three build. I'm gonna be pulling this out real quick, and we're gonna do this. I'm gonna show you guys how quick and easy building. Now I'm not gonna rush, okay? But I'm gonna show you guys how quick and easy it is building this thing. These are a set of J Boy stainless steel aliens at point one three that I'm gonna be using. Five wraps. Um, it says 28 by 38 gauge. Uh, I have those on lucidrda.com, so that's pretty cool. So before I take these coils out, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ready my coils. I'm going to take my little tool here, and I'm just going to drop these in. Boop. You see it sticking through. Basically, I take this, and I go like this. Oh, wait. It's pretty much there, but there we go. And then I'm going to take this side, and I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to go. Boop, just like that. I always put my finger over it so I don't get stuff in the eye, even though I am wearing glasses, you know, because safety first, guys. 
And uh, I also use a little dust buster thing on my mat here and I wash it in the dishwasher every now and then. So there you go. So basically you put your coil flat against that. You cut the coils, you cut the leads flush and that's good. So let's rock this out of here right quick. Ba -ba 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 Bam. Just like that. And whoops. Just like that. I can't. Where's it at? There it is. Whoops. Take these out. Now, here's the deal. Okay, you can see these aren't quite lined up perfect. You can't really. But it's just fine. I mean, it's really, it's not a big deal. They don't have to be lined up perfect unless you're OCD. But some people are OCD, and I get it. Now, if your coils are like this, where the leads are rounded out and flat to one side, just put them back to back like this. Well, this one's kind of in the center. Oh, I guess they both are in the center. Anyway, if you guys, uh, you, some, some of you guys know what I'm talking about with, uh, let me see if I can find a set of coils right quick here. Yeah, like this. If you've got your coils like basically to one side like this, then just put them back to back like this inside your atomizer and it'll make things a lot easier for you rather than belly to belly if that makes any sense hopefully it does maybe i'm nuts i don't know let's do this right quick just drop it in drop it in hold them down this is how easy it is mike vapes made this crazy easy with the little measuring tool and the fact that it's machined so well and uh, like the screws fit so well, everything is really clean, all the threading. Hellvape did a really good job with this thing. So hold that down. The one thing about flatheads, all you have to do is find the flathead and make sure your flathead, your screwdriver fits and then you won't have any issues with them. Some people have a hard time uh, with flatheads, but I never really do, I kinda like flatheads. Then you just take this, like this, and bend it down. I spread that coil a little bit. Oh well, that's okay. I'm not a perfectionist. Just like that. Now the next thing you wanna do is, is you just wanna make sure it's not touching the airflow. So. You can even pull them out a little bit if you want to, just to kind of cover the airflow a little more. Just like that. And because you used the coil tool um, to cut your leads, everything should, you shouldn't have anything getting hotter faster on either side because your leads should be the same length. So just like that, it's not real hard, not a big deal. Just like that centered, you want to make sure they don't protrude. They don't go past the outside of the circle here. Okay, so let's throw some. All right, I got a few more minutes to do this. Almost done. What did I just, why is this not working? There it goes. Turn this down. 48 watts is way too much for stainless when you're burning it in. You want to use about 25 or so depending on your build. And you don't want it to get too terribly hot. See, it's turning purple and everything. That means it's already reaching a good temperature. So you want to get these things burned in at a low wattage so you don't blow past the temperature uh, that will, you know, basically make them uh, release toxins which all metals can do if they reach certain temperatures okay so we've kept that real low temperature I'm getting a 0.17 that is reading that way because of stainless <sighs> the resistance on stainless goes up see how it's going down now 0.15 <sighs> As you cool it off, it's going to go down. These will probably end up being about a 0.13. 
0.14 is fine for me. I'm going to take some of this cotton threads right quick. I'm going to throw these in here. Make sure these aren't hot. That's one thing you don't want to do is is you don't want to throw you don't want to throw these aglets through a nice hot coil because then you get uh, melted aglets and uh, that's not cool, especially inside your coil. So make sure you blow on it, cool it off, maybe put some juice on it right quick. Here's the wicking tricks. Take your wick, cut it off, clean with the diameter of the deck, just like that. So you take this just like this, kind of measure out the deck here, and right about, I'm going to give it a little bit extra just to kind of play with just in case. Center it up. So I'm going to take a little bit because these are so big and fat. Take a little bit off the bottom. Just like that. And just like that. This is how I pretty much wake all of my RTAs. Okay. Now, hopefully I didn't cut those too short. Now you can take this and just give it a little tuck right inside. You don't even have to, as long as you, these are bent. <clears throat> as long as you uh, have room in here, you don't have to thin out your cotton or anything if you use these uh, these cotton threads because they're so... Um, they're so all going, the grains are all going the same way. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. The grains are all going the same way. So it's really easy to get everything in and the juice runs through it really easy. I may have cut this a little too short. I'm going to put a little juice on there. It'll probably be okay. Basically what you want to do when you're wicking these RTAs like this is, is you just want to dam up the juice well or the juice inlet right inside that little right inside this little bar right here you just want to basically get the cotton in there it doesn't need to be down at the bottom it doesn't need to be wedged in there you just want to tuck it in right behind that so sometimes when you put a little bit of juice on there it helps if you made it a little too short it'll help keep it down a little bit so If not, you're going to have Leak City, and you'll know it real quick. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't want to jam it in there. You see how loose it is still? This one might be a little tight. No, nah, it's all right. That one's okay. This one is going to be... That one is a little tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to do like this. Just take a little bit off and put it right in. Bam, 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 just like that. And as long as it moves, as long as you could like get your needle nose in there and move it around nice and easy, you are money in the bank. <laughs> this here is, oh, excuse me, I just cleared my nose like on microphone. That was awesome. Out of this world, Saturn peanut butter custard warning. Bam. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Bam. All right. I'll be able to check chat in one second, guys. I'm almost there. Just let me fill this tank up. We'll go back to FaceTime, and then we will get out of here. So there you go. Oops. I totally just hit that. Uh, that's okay. So just make sure you don't get any cotton in your threads when you're putting this back together. And then it's always good practice just to check and make sure your resistance is reading normal, that you don't have any shorts. 
Looks like we're fine. Fill her up. Oh, yeah. And you know what? I'm going to do moment of truth. I'm going to fill this thing all the way up so you guys can have a great laugh if it leaks all over me. Because, yeah. Yeah. Either stand it as wicking good or stand it as wicking bad. It's all going to be live right here just for you guys. And where did my cap go? Here's my cap. Ready? No, this cap is not as loose as the purple one. Bam. There it is. And you know what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put this on... <laughs> Oh, I don't have my 25 millimeter. Never mind. I'm not going to put this on here. All right. Let's jump back out. Let's talk a little bit about it and then get out of here. Bam. What is up? Let's take a look at this. All right. Thanks, Connie. I appreciate it. I'm going to try to get done real quick because I know Grim Green is going live ASAP. I really wanted to put this on the mech. Let me see here. I don't have any of my 25 millimeter rings right here. Oh yeah, bam, here it is. So I'll take my 28 millimeter ring off. I'll put my 25 millimeter ring on. Now this has a battery in it, but you see what I do when I have a battery in it? I make sure that the threads are loose. That way your battery is not touching the top of your mech. I made sure this thing didn't have any shorts. I, oh, I have a very good quality battery in here. My resistance is within range. And I've got a peanut butter custard in here that I'm excited to try. Let's blow some clouds. Ooh, doggy. Yeah, this thing has an awesome flavor. Really awesome flavor. Now, I just recorded, listen, I just recorded the review on the Bulk RTA. This is the Bulk RTA by Vape and Fagan. This is the Mike Vapes Rebirth RTA. You can see the size difference next to them. Now, I didn't compare them in the Bulk RTA video. That's the one I'm editing currently, but that's the Bulk. This is the Rebirth. The Rebirth is a little quieter than the Bulk. However, the Rebirth has, has more airflow wide open. Can you believe that? This has three holes on the bottom of it. This has two holes. They're about the same size. And the Rebirth has more airflow in it. So I have it wide open right now. And it is rocking and rolling. Look, I don't think there's much to say about this. Other, like, I don't have a whole lot of cons to say about this thing. I really don't. Um, I'm trying to find the price on it real quick. I think I have it on my website, lucidrda.com. But I don't want to tell you guys the price from there. I want to tell you guys the price from somewhere else just so that you can get an idea okay so it looks like it's going anywhere from 29.95 to 34.99 i'm sure it's on sale certain places i'm sure different colors are certain are certain prices if you want to go check it out at lucidrda.com do i have this i think i do i can't remember i know i ordered them but i don't know if they're on the site or not but you can go check it out there if you want um you can compare prices back and forth i would say watch a few more reviews because everybody does it different some people may have issues with it. Some people don't. I'll tell you what. I like this RTA a lot. There has been a plethora of really good RTAs coming out on the market. This just happens to be one of them. The wicking is super easy. The airflow is very smooth and plentiful if you like big airflow. I'm going to turn it down halfway so you guys can see what it sounds like. It has kind of a zipper sound about halfway down. Maybe that's the juice. Hold on. No, that's the airflow. Let me turn it down to really, really small. So when it's closed down really, really small, it's nice. And, ah, 
It's nice and smooth and quiet. That's how I know I'm at my 30 minute mark. <laughs> oh, come on. What happened? It's not, it's not working. Damn it. I was almost through this without a hiccup. <laughs> hey guys. So basically, basically I would say for the price point, 30 ish bucks, I would definitely pick one up. Um, it's, it's a good, nice piece of vape gear. Um, it's machined really nice. It's done really well. It holds five mils with the bubble tank on it. It looks good on the keen. Um, it, it's a really, really nice looking tank. I think it's probably one of the better looking tanks out. I like it a little bit better in looks department than the bulk, even though the bulk is cool, but the bulk is a huge RTA. Um, I love the quarter turn quick release top fill, uh, it's simple looking. It's nice. It's got the cutouts around it that make it look pretty, but it's not too much. Um, the build deck is stupid easy to build on. It's ridiculous easy to build on. And with that coil tool in there, I mean, you don't even have to guess. You don't even have to guess. It's perfect every time. So, <laughs> um, code on the site, Dustin, is vape on friends. So you can try that out. It wouldn't be right. You're right, Ricky Mahoney. It just wouldn't be right. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sure there was heckling in the chat for my build on live. There's always heckling in the chat for live builds. But I enjoy it. It's been a minute since I did something like this, and I'm glad to hang out with you guys and do this. Now, get your butts over and watch Grim Green live because he's starting right now. You guys stay safe. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Hey, guess what? Mike Vapes, you did a great job, man. And remember... Vape on, friends. <laughs>